Looking for an easy to use plug and play option for a USB microphone to get you started on your adventures on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and Facebook gaming? Then you're gonna wanna take a look at the Snowball Ice from Blue. Let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, at any point in this video, if you like the products or the services that I'm talking about, did you all a favor? I put links in the show notes below, so make sure you check them out. One of the most important aspects of being a live streamer on Twitch, Mixer, Facebook gaming, or generating any type of content on YouTube is your audio quality. A lot of people will forgive a lot of things on your streams or your VODs, but one thing they won't forgive is your audio quality coming through. And a lot of people get overwhelmed with audio. But Blue had your back with a Snowball Ice that's an easy to use USB microphone that's plug and play. The Blue Snowball Ice only has one polar pattern, which is a cardio polar pattern, which means it's gonna try its best to pick up all the sound coming from the front and a little bit to the sides while negating most of the sound that comes from behind it or sounds that'll be reverbed back into it from behind. The Snowball Ice has a frequency response of 40 to 18 kilohertz, which we'll get into more in a moment when we show the examples of how it sounds and its response from all the different angles. And it comes available in black and white. And just like the name, the Snowball comes in a spherical design. Now that we have our microphone all set up, let's take a look at the audio quality that's coming through to see if this will be the correct mic for you to get started on your live streaming adventures or any of the content creation that you want to generate on YouTube. So here you can see we have our Snowball Ice all set up and it's very simple to do. All you got to do is just plug it right there in the back to the USB. There is no switch. Once you plug it in and attach it to your computer, it will automatically detect in anything like OBS. So you're literally ready to go the minute you plug it in. So let's test the frequency response and the attack angles and the drop off that it's gonna have. So I have queued up here on my phone, just some white noise so you can see where all the sound comes from and how it falls off around the microphone with this cardio pattern. One of the biggest problems I generally see in reviews of this microphone or when people use it is the way that it picks up the projections of air that you push towards the microphone when you enunciate things like Peter picked a bunch of peppers kind of thing. You're pushing a lot of air towards it and there's an easy way to solve this is just have it skewed off to your mouth. As you can see, I'm not talking right into the microphone. I'm talking just adjacent to it. So a lot of people will actually talk like this into the microphone and they have Peter picked a bunch of peppers and they have all that air going into it. Now, I will agree, the closer you are to the mic, the better it sounds. If I stand further back here, it doesn't really pick up anything and the air is gonna dissipate, but there are another, or there is another solution you can do. You can easily just invent, uh, invest in a simple pop filter and just put it in front of here. And that way, when you say Peter picked a bunch of peppers, there is less air being transferred through the silk screen that's on here or the nylons that you can put on here as well. And this way it solves the issue quite easily. But you may just wanna set the microphone off to the side of your mouth. Since we're talking about accessories, I do recommend getting a pop filter if you're the type of person that likes to be very close to their microphone and speak to it, because you will be pushing that air in at some point. And your viewers most likely will be watching with headphones, so make sure you don't make those really sudden, really bad noise changes to their ear, because that'll help the viewing experience for you. Number two I recommend is get yourself a nice, easy to use boom arm. One of the big pluses about this microphone is it weighs almost close to nothing. I know that's an over exaggeration, but you get my point. It's very light. So you can get away with a discount boom arm just like this from Newark. Even at a full extend, this will hold its shape and level for you. A lot of people hate on this boom arm and I don't know why. I think it's because they're like resting microphones that are super heavy on it. It won't hold those, but for something like this, you can get away with it perfectly. Now, if you want to upgrade, you can go to a Rode PSA 1, which will be around 80 to 90 USD, or you can go for the big boy right here. This is the blue compass arm, which is right around, I believe, 100 USD. It will easily hold this, but actually this will be a little too light for just this. This is more for beefy boys, but you can put it on there if you do some fine adjustments. But I would rec recommend the newer boom arm. If you'd like to learn more about that, I did a video on that. I'll put it up here. 
Usually you can find these on discount anywhere from 15 to 25 USD. Another accessory I really recommend if you're gonna get the blue snowball ice is get an extended USB cable. If you plan on getting a arm or boom arm or scissor arm, whatever you like to call it, and you plan on guiding and routing your cable down and through, the stock cable it comes with is not that long. So I'd recommend getting an extended one on Amazon. Again, links below. One accessory I will not recommend for the blue snowball is the cradle ring that you can get from blue as well. This thing is awesome, but man, is it beefy and it takes up a lot of space. Just imagine if you have this in front and this is holding in here in the middle, it is gonna be blocking so much of your uh, video player space and you that it's in front of your face that it really is kind of doing a disservice for people to make a personal connection for you. It almost looks like a UFO from X-Files. The truth is out there. So I recommend ditching this and just sticking with this. Again, this is just a beginner microphone anyway, so no point in investing in something that big and beefy at the start. So what are some of the pros about the Snowball Ice from Blue? Well, I think one of the best ones is simply the price. For around 50 USD, you can get a great plug and play starter microphone, which is our second point. It is an easy to use microphone. It literally is just plug it into the back and plug in your computer and you are good to go. One of the best things that I can find about it is just getting up and going with your uh, streaming adventures or creating content is one of the best things when you're just starting out. If you can eliminate some of the troubleshooting, gosh, that's, that's worth it so much to people out there. The last point is definitely, you know, I think it sounds pretty decent for a microphone that's under $50. And that's something that's super awesome about it too. It actually has a pretty good vocal range that I think a lot of you can see from the test that we did. So this microphone has a lot of pros about it, but it does come with some cons to it. One of the biggest ones is you actually have to be somewhat close to the microphone for it to pick up a richness of your voice. You can't be more than about, I would say, 12 to 16 inches away from the microphone before you hear a drastic fall off on it. So that's kind of something that's bad, especially if you're an animated streamer like myself, or you do anything creative where you have to have a lot of space for your hands or your actions. The other con that we have about it is one that we touched about is the fact that when you push air from your projections of your mouth into it, this microphone, I would say it does pick up the air pressure a little bit more, but we, we gave you some solutions on how to fix that. The biggest one is just stand adjacent to the microphone. And the last con about it is it's not the best designed microphone. You know, a lot of people are into the classic style of microphone, which I understand because it looks cool and you make a visual representation on your stream. But again, for under 50 USD, I think this is one of the best jumping in price points you can get. So I can overlook the unique spherical design. So a lot of people will probably ask, why am I not recommending the normal Snowball from Blue? Well, I will recommend it if you plan on doing one particular thing. If you plan on generating content on a wider scale that's gonna be expanding out to platforms like YouTube, Instagram, or anything like that, and you plan on doing like podcasts, I would recommend actually paying up for the normal Snowball because it comes with an additional two patterns. One comes with a minus 10 dB, so that way you can pick up things like within concerts, but that's not really probably gonna be something that you're doing. But the other one is an omnidirectional sound pattern, which essentially means it'll pick up sound from all the way around the microphone. So if you're doing interviews or podcasts or you're doing group sessions of streaming, that would be something that would be beneficial to you. And that's about $20 or $30 up. I'll put the price up on the screen right here because I can't remember. But there is another option as well. Now, if you like the sounds that Blue produces through its microphone, but you're looking for something that's a little more upscale, there are two that I would recommend. One would be the Yeti Nano, which is a smaller version of the Yeti, which is again is a plug and play microphone that I got to play around with a couple of times. But if you guys would like me to do a review on that, please leave me a comment in the section below. And the next one I would recommend is the normal Yeti, which is again, another USB plug and play microphone with a lot richer sound to it. So you can get the Yeti Nano, which retails, I believe around 100 USD, or you can do the normal Yeti, which is around 130 USD. Now is the Blue Snowball Ice worth recommending in today's market that have so many options and so much uniqueness out there that's available for all of us? And the answer is kind of a short yes with one kind of kicker to it. If you were just starting out, I would highly recommend this microphone because it's a good way to start and not have to worry about anything. You can worry about the content you're gonna generate or your stream in general, and there's gonna be minimal troubleshooting. But if you have a few extra pennies in your pocket and you wanna trade up or buy up to another microphone, I would probably suggest that 
over the blue ice. Now for one quick bonus tip that I wanna give all of you console streamers out there, I bet you didn't know this microphone will actually work on your PS4. Just like being a plug and play, it's USB, so all you gotta do is plug it into your USB port and it'll auto detect and now you can have crisper, richer, clearer sounds for your console streams. All right, so fun question of the day, what do you think is the best entry level plug and play USB microphone that you think is worth paying for. I'm curious to know, and if you have any recommendations, leave me a comment below and I will see what I can do to play around with it and do a review on it to help all of you out. If you guys like this type of content and you wanna see more from me, you know what to do, leave me a comment below. And if you'd like to help me and this channel out, you can follow me on over on Twitter and Instagram. And if you like what you see here, you'll definitely like what you see on over at twitch.tv slash wild for games where you can hit that follow button and even hit that almighty subscribe button. And you probably have noticed the YouTube join button down below. So thank you for everyone that hits that and becomes a member because it allows me to continue creating high quality content for all of you out there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back real soon in another stream support video. Take care all. Peace.